I do have an OLED affiliate link. It's down below. If you're watching on Facebook or you or hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Leave it a card if you guy like the thumbnail says I want to talk to you guys today about inexpensive ways to get out your EDC. Or what I've discovered is the most inexpensive way to get out your EDC. Now, straight off the bat, if you are gonna be talking about cloud defense and surefire x 300s this is not the video for but the reason i'm making this video is whilst i always encourage people to get the best gear they can get i do appreciate and i'm not a gear elitist i do appreciate that some people simply can't and won't ever be able to dedicate that kind of resources and as a result i really value these olight sales that happen once a month the reason for that guys is because having an olight okay is a million times better than looking at the shore fire in the shop window. I've always said I'd rather have an O-Light than no light. And those of you who watch Active Self Protection, check one of their latest videos. I'm, I'm filming this on a Sunday, but and it's Monday when this video comes out, um, where the guy I think it's in Brazil shoots his neighbor because you couldn't pos positively identify him and he thought this guy was coming up to rob him. That's one life ended, another life ruined by something um, that a really cheap O-Light would have been able to solve. So things I think are vitally important is handheld flashlight, weapon-mounted lights, and then generally EDC utility things like knives and things like that. And with OLED's new, I think it's called the OFAN Day Sale, pretty much everything is discounted. So there's no reason at this juncture, if you are umming and eyeing, thinking, do I want a weapon-mounted light for you to not take the plunge? For example, there's one like mega pack deal where you get a OLED um, boulder, a i3t now this is an i5t because i couldn't find my i3t and like one of those small keychain lights for like i think it's like two and a half thousand rand which is ridiculous balder pro the full size rechargeable and the balder pro r which i really like is also like 40 percent discounted guys i do want to just say a lot of people uh, irk about the quality of olight and i find that most people when they say so are comparing a olight balder to a surefire x300 okay guys you can't do that right understand your olight is going to last you for a certain period of time your x300 is going to last you forever that is why there's a disparity in price and i'm probably the only youtuber with an olight affiliate link who's going to say this but olights give you decent service for their value that's how that's how the world works you can't buy a suzuki germany and expect it to work like a Toyota, Toyota Land Cruiser. However, that doesn't mean you as a person who doesn't have that kind of resources to spend on lights shouldn't have light. You should still be able to, to um, own light. This is not going to be as good as my cloud defense, but it's way, it's, it's a billion times better than not having a light. The new Olight Baton 3 is also going to be on sale, guys. This is a very cool... EDC utilitarian lights. Say what you want about OLED. The EDC utilitarian lights are exceptionally good. I don't care who you are. The utility lights is where OLED really shines. Excuse the pun. The Baton 3 Pro has a bigger um, on-off bu on button. You can see the difference in size. The clip, you can see the difference in size. It also has a um, proximity sensor in the reflector. It's got better runtime, better lumen, better candela. It's an overall improvement in the Baton series, which I do know for many people is an extremely popular EDC utilitarian flashlight. If you sign up, register, and subscribe, you can like purchase one of these Gober lights, which is really cool. This is a cool thing, right? You can purchase them for like 19 Rand. This is a really cool thing, but not something you want to spend a ton of cash on. What it does is it splits into two um, and then you basically switch it on and you have different color options by cycling and different modes and things like that. And you can um, carabiner one to your backpack and it also does come with a molly clip. So you and your partner, if you're going hiking, whatever, even if you're camping and you just connect it to your tent. So if you go to the toilet or wherever at night where there's no light, you know exactly which tent is yours. And then this sucker, this thing is epic. This is my favorite Olight thing. I know you guys are like, this company makes a shit ton of stuff and you freaking freaking out for this thing. So this is the night tour. It is a lamp. It is an adjustable lamp, so you can have like your warm white here. You can also adjust the intensity of it. And then if you want to 
make things a bit more fun. You can have your RGB situation. What's also really cool is it comes with this remove this. Uh, firstly, it's adjustable, removable head. Okay, and what you do is you shake it. It's, it's got like a an accelerometer inside it, so you can shake it on and then shake it off. Very cool. It's USB Type C rechargeable. I just leave it plugged in. And then when the when load shedding happens, those of you who don't know what load shedding is, load shedding in South Africa is where um, it happens pretty much once a day almost, where our power su uh, supplier will just cut the power for two hours because of maintenance and shit like that. It is an absolute nightmare. On to things like that, guys. Things like the Seeker 2 Pro, Seeker 3 Pro, sorry, for South Africans is really important. This particular one has been in my bathroom for like two years and still freaking works. I do have an Olight affiliate link. It's down below. Um, if you're watching on Facebook or you or Instagram, it's the first comment. If you're watching on YouTube, it's down below. And the first comment. Ol Olight is basically the only company that financially gives me any kind of remuneration via my affiliate link. Uh, YouTube doesn't give me any remuner remuneration. Other companies say I've got an affiliate link with them, but I never receive anything. And I still promote their gear. I don't mind. Oh, one other thing. Um... If you want to get yourself a cool knife, get yourself the Olight Zilla. I dig this freaking knife. It's really cool. I know it's a big punk, but it fits in your pocket. It's got a really nice deep concealed pocket clip. It's a really cool um, utilitarian utilitarian knife. And it's also on, sp on special. Guys, everything is on special from now. Um, 10 a.m. Monday morning. So definitely check that out via the link below. If you want to support me or if you know anybody that might be wanting to buy something, please feel free to give them my link um, because that really helps support my channel. Guys, that is it. I will see you in the week again for a vlog and then on the weekend for a gear review. I hope you enjoyed my cloud defense gear review last night. I'm really proud of it. So if you haven't, go and check that out. That's it, guys. I will see you later for a review or a vlog. Have a good week. Be safe. Train hard. Cheers. God bless.